Hey Bobcats! Now that you've had the chance to learn some critical skills for design and modeling, we're going to be combining all those skills together and using them in one project. So to get this project started, um, we're going to read what's called a design brief. It gives you essential information about a design project um, so that you can execute um, the engineering design process to create um, or solve a problem. So in this case, you can see we have a design brief. Um, the client is Fine Office Furniture Incorporated. The target consumer is students. The age of the students would be middle school aged. And you're going to be the designer. So here's the problem. A local office furniture manufacturing company throws away tens of thousands of scrap three-fourths inch hardwood cubes that result from its furniture construction process. The material is expensive and the scrap represents a sizable loss of profit. Okay, so that's the problem. Design statement. Fine Office Furniture Incorporated would like to return value to its waste product by using it as the raw material for desktop novelty items that will be sold on the showroom floor. Design, build, test, document, and present a three-dimensional puzzle system that is made from the scrap hardwood cubes. The puzzle system must provide an appropriate degree of challenge to middle school students. Okay, so that's the statement. And now we're gonna talk about the criteria and constraints. The puzzle must be fab fabricated from 27 3 4 inch hardwood cubes. The puzzle system must contain exactly five puzzle parts. Each indivis individual puzzle part must contain, must consist of four to six hardwood cubes that are permanently attached together. At least two puzzle parts must be made up of six hardwood cubes. No two puzzle parts can be the same. The five puzzle parts must assemble to form a two and one quarter inch cube. Some puzzle parts should interlock. Students in grades four through nine should need an average of blank minutes and seconds to solve the puzzle. Now this is your um, where you can fill this in. How many minutes do you think it's going to take um, a middle school age student to solve your puzzle cube? Okay. And then adults should need an average of blank minutes or seconds to solve the cube. Fill in the target solution time. Now here's the question. Will it take adults longer to solve the puzzle cube or less time to solve the puzzle cube than middle schoolers? So we're gonna, I'm gonna have you make a note in your Project Lead the Way notebook of how many minutes and seconds or seconds you think students will take to solve this puzzle and adults. Deliverables. Use your Project Lead the Way gateway notebook to write a detailed description of the design process. Summarize your work during each step of the process. Include documentation written work, sketches, CAD drawings, that's SketchUp, images to support your dis discussion. Your documentation must include the following information located in the appropriate design process step. Puzzle cube, or puzzle design challenge brief. This is what we're reading right now. Brainstorming of possible part combinations. This part has actually been done for you and I'll explain in the next video. Multi-view sketch fully dimensioned of each of the five puzzle parts in your design. We'll get to that later on in the week. Isometric view of each puzzle part, including computer-aided design software. Again, we're going to get to this part later on in the week. Prototype and image of your puzzle. We're actually going to be doing this today. We're going to be creating the puzzle, the prototype of your puzzle cube, and you're going to be taking some photos of it. Statistics related to the solution time for your puzzle. We'll get to this probably not until next week. All right, Bobcats, that was your design brief. I hope you're excited about this project that we're going to be starting. 
um, please let me know in Mr. Guerrero know if you have any questions.